Welcome back! We're heading to Martha's Rest. It's going to be very, very interesting to see how this place has changed in five years. I'm really excited. Like, I don't know. I mean, it might not have changed much at all. What happened here? Come on. We need to find the others. The thing is, I don't fully remember what this place was like, actually, in, in, in places. But some of the area seems pretty similar. But uh, maybe inside it isn't. We'll see. Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. You uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but all our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jill and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about the culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. Oh boy, that's not good. Yeah, that green icon again. Very intrigued to see what that is. Cole is right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. But a culling. The bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. I love this game. I really love this game. And like the thing is, like now we're at this point where we've reached the point of no return. Like we can't go back five years, obviously, unless some kind of like weird magic stuff happens. Um, like we're we're at the stage where things are you know different um we we this this is the world now and the the side quests now might be a lot more interesting because we're gonna start getting like these these quests where it's it's enemy uh hunts and stuff i love enemy hunts because it's always like oh yeah here's this cool enemy and you get to take it down and that's that's always that's always super fun um i'm i'm always i'm always up for that I forgot how great that was. <laughs> it's been a couple of days since I played this, and I've been like uber busy, uh, like non-stop painting and shifting boxes and stuff for like for two, three days straight. Arthur, are you hurt? Don't worry about me. It's them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shield says what happened. The Black Shields. The bastards caught wind. The abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds. Poor souls turned on the Imperials. Distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then... They may still be alive. Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Black shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in this area. They fought to defend all her citizens. It seems a step too far, even for the Empire. <laughs> So who's in charge of the Empire? Is that the Thanos dude, or is that someone else? Because I know he's the one who attacked the first base. Uh, trying to get to Sid. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. There's still a lot we don't know. It's really exciting. I mean, it, the uh, what they're doing isn't fun, but but what's about to go down is interesting. So, yeah. Are we too oh, late? Oh no, 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 no. There might no. still be someone inside.
No. Damn it. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offence. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. No, it will not. I'm going to make sure it doesn't. <laughs> oh, you love to see it. Oh man, that was good. That felt so very nice indeed. Oh, and guess what? I'm not done yet. Not at all. <laughs> oh wait, there's more. Sorry. Now this is where the fun begins. Good. Yeah. Revenge. Feels great. Lovely stuff. Lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. Hmm, nice. Is that all of them? I think so. Yeah, complete, but not wholly satisfying. Yeah, I'm really intrigued to see what that is. Ooh. No, oh, interesting. I remember reading, at least I, I think I'm right in saying this, that in New Game Plus, you're able to craft accessories together. So, like, you can combine, uh, like, say, the two experience accessories to create a singular better experience accessory. Um, which would be really interesting if that is indeed the case, because I definitely want to do that. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. Oh, I hope so. He was a good man. I say was. He might still be. <laughs> I hope he's still alive. Oh, no. Thunder. The abbot... Paris died protecting him, calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive, he's breathing. We're friends of Martha. We're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. Told me that were true. <coughs> the black shields will return. The cuttings will continue. Rosaria will never be safe unless we save her. Telmath to beg Sil's aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. I... I shall. Sil! Where are you? Sil! In here! We found a survivor! Clive? He's gone. <sighs> Clive.
We've laid the other to rest. But the bearers, they didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't. But it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms, fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperial so she and the abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Redix jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust to himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. Yeah, it's actually, what I really like about this game is it actually a lot of the time sort of looks on the positive in the respect that obviously nothing about that was good, but they did choose to die on their own terms. They went out fighting rather having the disease take them. And that's really admirable. And that's actually really nice um, that they they went out that way as opposed to being slaughtered. Uh, oh, how do I get over there? Oh, it's back around. Okay. Um, yeah, it's it's. I was thinking that, but it's good that the the game did bring it up because it is something that is important. God, I forgot how great the music is here. What in the hell are you? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Terrifying. Oh! Oh, I see! It begins, baby! Notorious marks every now and then climbing and counter creatures larger, faster, and more ferocious than most. While fight, fight, flight is always an option, defeating these notorious marks can earn him not only renown, but also rare materials. Oh, that's what it is! It's renown! Oh! But also rare materials that maybe used to craft new gear or upgrade existing items. Oh, that's good. Okay, so renown must be what you get, like, having a bigger renown will allow you to do other missions, maybe? Interesting. Um, uh, yeah, I can see that. Of course it has. It's a floating eyeball. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is. No, you're not wrong. Right, so what are you like? I'm trying to, like, lock onto you, but you really don't want me to. Ooh, that's scary. Oh, that would have been great if I hit you, but the last was not to be. Oh, you are very powerful, aren't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice, go. That's what I'm after. This is good. Oh, that's unfortunate. What are you doing? I don't know yet. Okay, that's not what I thought. That's, that's not the right one. That's the one I want. That's the one I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there it is. Nice. That is very nice. You love to see it. Oh, wait. Okay. Yeah, no, fair enough. Sorry. Could have done more, but oh well. Alas. I'll take it. Still a solid amount of damage. Oh, I need to avoid this. Whatever it is. Uh -huh. You're doing a lot to me, and it's very scary. Oh, what? 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 No! <laughs> no, 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 no! Are you kidding? No! <laughs> oh, I feel like that's a glitch. Okay. That really sucks. Okay. 
Oh, you are going down. Oh, I'm gonna destroy you. I need to get out of here right now. Right now. Okay. Oh, I can't believe that happened. That really sucks. That's really unfortunate. I can't imagine that's a common glitch. But it is the way it is. Okay, come on. That's what I want. I want you to heal me and I want you to go after it. Oh, lovely stuff. Okay. So, I want to do that. We'll do as much as we can. Lovely. Love to see it. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? No. Oh my god! Whoo! Where's the nearest obelisk? How much have been undone? Like, how much have we lost? Okay, we haven't lost anything, really. Okay, 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 that's not too bad. I thought we had lost everything. That would have been concerning. Uh, this is good, though, because I get to go to a merchant and see what you've got. Um, I figured that would be, like, these wouldn't be good. Um, uh, no, actually, that's not bad. That's that's not bad at all. Um, you don't have any, Oh, interesting, you don't have any more of that? That is interesting. Uh, you do have a piece of music, though, that I don't need. Um, gradually feels... Oh, yes, I remember that, yeah. No, that's fine. Um, but yeah, that is an unfortunate thing that happened with that mini boss. But that's okay, we'll try again. Here we go, this is the one. This is the run. I actually died again, believe it or not. It's, uh, this game is hard. <laughs> As it turns out. Oh, actually, you are super close to death, aren't you? There it is. <laughs> not like the most stylish, uh, finish, but it worked. And for my reward... Loads of money, actually, that is a lot of money. Some good experience. Magic Ash, Meteorite. Okay, so in this case, the crafting item isn't the crafting items isn't amazing. Then again, I might have got better had I done better in the fight. Um, but yeah, cool. All right, yeah, no, it's not easy actually. That was a genuinely tough uh, little battle, um, and I am going to thoroughly enjoy doing more of them. Because that is so cool. Um, gimme, 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 gimme more. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden. And bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. It might actually be quicker to warp. I say might, it 1 billion percent will be. <laughs> no shame in that. No shame in warping at all. So yeah, it seems that dying, whilst it doesn't hold consequence in the respect that you lose progress, it does sometimes take a while to get back there. I'm assuming if it was like a proper boss fight, there would be a restart at the boss option. You would hope. Maybe not, we'll see, we'll see. But certainly for the for the uh, hunting quests, that might be quite challenging. Um, dying holds consequence, so good to know. No one survived then. I'm sorry. 
before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Does it mean I won't? Does it mean their blood's not on my hands? Cole said you cast their remains. And that was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? You couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago. Of black-clad devils descending on villagers in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times, you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers. Yeah, a lot of money for that. Thank you. Ooh, nice. Alright, a new quest is available nearby. Ooh, where? Uh, I presume that. Uh, any other? Doesn't look like it. Alright, well, I will do that. Why not? Got no reason not to. Depends on what it is. Well, no, I'll just do it anyway, but you know what I mean. Um, are you handy with that sword? Of sure am. Of course you are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with <laughs> thing. Now, question is are you willing to use it or not? Because a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos? You heard me right. Wild birds? Hmm? The big ones? And not just any chocobos at that. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. They protect travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. It's true. Why, they saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Nasty lot they were, too. And now, they're back, looking to settle the score. Oh, go on, then. D don't just stand there. Go and help them. <sighs> All right. There's a good lad. Where can I find these chocobos? I saw them cut across the way over yonder. The rotten scoundrels were driving the poor things towards the old dark. It's a dead end, that is. You save Whiteheart and her flock, you hear me? There ain't a pluckier bird in all the world. She's a hero to us locals. And don't worry, you'll know her when you see her right enough. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. And give those no good bastards a hiding from me. So the thing with quests, I presume there will be some kind of achievement for uh, completing every quest in the game. But obviously oh there were quests before That's the five year gap. Though. So had you not done them, would you not be able to get everything? I don't know. I made sure to do them. So I don't feel bad about this either way. <laughs> I feel actually very good about it. A white feather. 
I thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. Speaking of brave birds. Looks like they went that way. All right, let's go. These chocobos aren't going down without a fight. <laughs> yeah, impressive. So, oh. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay. We got you cornered, Feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. But I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on their wall. Not around here, they won't. Oh. And why is that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. This, uh... Or better still, how about we hurt you both? All right then. But don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, this is gonna be easy. Observe. Oh, geez, I feel bad. What's the cross always there on the side quest? Because I didn't think they were. Which might actually be a check in place to uh, to be like these are the side quests that actually mean something. Um, but either that or I'm just terribly unobservant, uh, which is a oh not, which is a real possibility. Let's not rule that out. <laughs> Oh, you're a bit of a, you're, you're a big guy. I tried to, uh... Yeah, I'm not very good at, like, I don't know, doing the, uh, the lightning ability. I don't know what it is about it, I just, I'm not good at it. What I am good at is this, and we'll continue to do it. Oh jeez, I guess I'm expecting to keep coming at me. I don't want, there it is. Oh boy. Very nice. Sure, well, oh, actually, I'm not there yet. So, I'll, I'll do this, but I wasn't quite at the point. But now I am. Go, go, go! Oh, that's very nice. Good game. Yeah, I'm not too keen on the Thunder, like, circle attack. But I'm very keen on what they can do <laughs> physically with their their uh, power. It's it, it good. It good. You're safe now. White heart, I presume. Do you know her, boy? <laughs> that scar. It couldn't be. Ambrosia. <laughs> it is you. <clears throat> you survived. Of a flock. Oi! He, he is it over! I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh, well, you sorted the bastards then. I knew you would. <laughs> and the whole flock 
made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. And not only that. Well, I'll be. I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mound. <laughs> Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. <laughs> Bird like her would have cost a princely sum. You born a lord or something? Well, I... Uh... Oh, no, sorry, sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter who you are. You done right by me. What is it, girl? She wants her master back, I reckon. <coughs> Told you. And it seems her pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. The lads down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. Oh, stay right where you are. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? She does indeed. How much do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old white heart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry, we'll get along just fine without her. <laughs> you hear that, white heart? You've earned yourself some time off. You have fun traveling with your master now. Hmm. You seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarmed my car on the road, didn't you? Uh... No. No, that can't be right. That fellow was a bearer. Must have been my double. Oh, must have been, eh? <laughs> Oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me, silly sod that I am. Pay me no mind. <laughs> Anyhow, best be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. You take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. That's what the plus must mean. Maybe it's only, it's presumably only available if you've done the first one. Oh man, that's so cool. Also, oh my god, I brought you back. Amazing, a bespoke saddle and blinders worn by Clive's child of Chocobo Ambrosia. Yay, Ambrosius! <laughs> Quare. <laughs> Quare. <laughs> Good. Excellent. So that's displayed in the chambers. Cool. Oh, I've unlocked a Chocobo! Oh my god. Please tell me I get to ride Ambrosia anywhere. I guess I'm about to find out. Uh, after 18 year long years, Clive is finally reunited with his faithful steed. Hold R3 while in the field to summon. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> yes. Oh my god. Faster. Yeah! Oh my god! So good, so good. This is so much faster. Oh my god! <laughs> I have a way to travel quickly now. Excellent, excellent, as it always should be. Okay, you, you turn a little slow, but that's all right. Interesting, enemies do attack. I wasn't sure if enemies would attack or not. They do. I just, I don't want to, obviously, because I don't want to harm you, but 
Good to know. Um, are there any other quests? It doesn't look like it. That is sexy. That is sexy. Oh, I love it. Oh, I can't it. That's so good. Oh, man. But, like, I really, really don't regret doing all those quests now. That's going to make such a big difference. Oh, that's crazy. Where's Gav? That's crazy. I love this game. Right, who's available? Um, doesn't seem like anyone is. Um, uh, or like, I was gonna say, let me rephrase that. There, there is only side quests available. And the answer is no. Um, maybe I should speak with Gav first, but I'm gonna speak to you first. lectures. Yes, I haven't talked about this. How may I help you today? Whoa. During the Vivian in the Highways map room, Clive can view the state of the realm and learn more about the current goings on in Valestia. We visit any of the Nine Tales past lessons or take a deeper look at the relationships of those individuals in Clive's orbit. Whoa, what? Oh my word, what? Here's the latest information I have. Oh, this is very Xenoblade. Okay, here's a view of detailed visualization of character relationships in Final Fantasy 16 that updates you as you progress through the main scenario. Oh, well, to be pivotal milestones in Clive's adventure. Oh, fascinating! Oh, that is so cool! Oh, man! Oh, wow! It tells you who's a Oh, wow, 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 wow! That is fascinating! Oh, that is so cool! Wow, okay. This is absolutely fascinating. Believed dead, yeah, because we know now. This is awesome. Okay. Uh, did they not die? Maybe not. Um, now Empress of the Holy Empire of San Breck. It was her, it was ever her purpose in life to preserve her phoenix bearing bloodline which reason she betrayed her husband, but she might enter in league with a force she judged the mightier. Now she rules over Rosaria as uh, vice reign of, of the Imperial province, which she rules with a cruelty and contempt for the base spawn that was unknown in Archduke Elm's name. Ah, wow, okay. Whoa, this is wild. Oh, man. Yeah, Hugo... Oh man, this is out. Who are you? Oh yeah, we did like see you briefly, didn't we? Um, oh my god, there's so much going on here. With each new quest, more gets added. This is absolutely fascinating. Yeah, now you, you are. It is classing you as deceased. I mean, I, I was wondering if there was any way at all you might not be. Oh, look, and it says, like, ow, I just banged my desk. It says, like, how that they're, they're, like, they're not enemies yet. I'm going towards them now. We're battling. This is fascinating. This is absolutely fascinating. So, leading up to this point, right, so you're still alive. This is when you died. Um, and yes, this is the mysterious being Ultima. Um, yeah, this is so cool. Oh, and this just drastically changes everything. Man. Absolutely insane. Huh. Wait, who's that? Medicine girl. Oh! Fascinating! Yeah, because uh, Jill, like, talked to her briefly in that cutscene, the first cutscene five years later. Interesting. At least I think that's her. Maybe. We haven't been there yet. Huh, so there was a reason for making a point of, like, having that that like, conversation, I guess. 
Okay, interesting. Absolutely fascinating. What's the deal Study with this? Well, Clive. So here you can view a detailed overview of current and past events relevant to Clive's story that updates as you progress through the main scenario. Okay, so... Right, so this is... Where they're going, you can... Oh, wow! This is ridiculous! It's so interesting! And you can, yeah, you can zoom out and, like, properly see the whole, like, map. Oh, this is so cool. You can see who's at war with who. This is absolutely fascinating. Once more? Oh, and you can see, oh, that's cool. And you can see the past lessons. Okay, so there's going to be more of those. The state of the realm that is, is unbelievably life. detailed and cool. That must have had, like, a whole team dedicated to just that. That is nuts. Like, that is nuts. That's so cool. Alright, Gav, what you got? Ah, Clive! I've missed that scowl. Where's my report? What, no kind words for your old pal Gav? <laughs> If it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. So, you remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly, the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. <sighs> and now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit, using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Ortha. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath near Ironhome. Drake's Fang in Dalmechia. Drake's Spine in Walud. And Drake's Tail here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's Fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that, then? My uncle. Byron Rosfield. Lord Byron Rosfield of the Seven High Houses, the trade magnate with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait. Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Eh? Huh?
There it is. I knew it was going to be there soon. Okay, new facilities. Following Hideaway facilities now available. Alien reports, the Patron's Whisper, the Hunt Board. All three are located near Otto in the mess. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> like, there's a lot to take in. Lots of things have just happened. Cool. Okay. What are we waiting for, indeed? Looks quite clear. All right. So uh, there is actually a side quest. Yeah. So I thought like side quests were like like that, but yeah, the plus means that it's custom, I guess. Um. Which is cool. I'm going to assume there's nothing new, given that... What do you need? Oh, what do you need? Um, yeah, given that you've not said anything, and yeah, that's pretty much what I thought. Uh, so that's else? good to know. Um, where do I go for the... Yeah, I go this way. I haven't actually looked around here, to be fair. Uh, I may as well do the quest. The quest. Got no reason not to. I was thinking this video might be a little shorter, and then a bunch of things happened. And I got busy looking at, like, <laughs> law documents for a while. Uh, where am I going? The wrong way! <laughs> I can see how I missed that, to be fair. I can see how I went the wrong way. I didn't mean to, obviously, but I can see how I did. It's fine. It's part of the fun, isn't it? Yeah, when I uh, when I need to go back to uh, our Moogle friend, what I'll do is I know it's behind me. I just want to see what's in there. Uh, I'll probably leave to the world map and then just go back that way. Foundations of vasty and botany, marble tendrils. After excise, excising from the trunk. Dry for three to five turns of the sun until brittle to the touch. Grind in mortar and add to warm coel milk to remedy gout, melancholy, and moon sickness. Caution recommended when harvesting as the host may grow disquieted. <coughs> yeah. Sorry, that, like, I had a reaction to the foundations of LSD and botany. Uh, my mistake. Um, cool. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, interesting. Uh, experimental record. Uh, mix equal parts first rate bang vineyard hummus. Okay, I'm not gonna read that. But yeah, interesting. But there's just like general stuff you can read around. I, I probably would have read it if I didn't feel really uncomfortable because I just sneezed. Won't be long now, Martel. Sid, I, I am, uh, was hoping to speak to you. Is everything alright? Oh, yeah, it's just, well. As you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. It's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on. Martel's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. I took it on, you see, after she... Well, after she died. And now the fruit's finally ready to eat. And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the Curse Breakers, on account of all they do for the hideaway. You couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better them coming from you. It'll be nice being the bearer of good news for a change. Oh, thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? And once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else gets some. Here you go. Martell apples, they're called, in honor of her memory. You hear that, Martell? Today's finally the day. That's nice. That's really cool. So where are we taking these? Uh, where is it going exactly? Yes, I think I will open the world map and do it that way. I think it will probably be quicker. Ooh, so that's where we're going next. Okay. Interesting, but you can't go anywhere else. Like, no, you must go there. Uh, or the hideaway. I'm glad it does let me back into the hideaway. <laughs> I was like, oh no, what if it doesn't? 
I knew it would be quicker. Haha. -ha. Strategy. Good stuff, good stuff. You two look like you could use something to eat. Here. Courtesy of Martel. Martel. Now where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girls in the furrows? Cool she was. <laughs> An odd sort, that one. Love plants more than people. <laughs> Aye, and brave as a bane might. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. Oh. I didn't realise that's what happened. Others weren't so lucky though. Oh. A gift from the backyard. For your service. Blimey, these take me back. I haven't seen a hardaway apple since. Old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, make Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. That sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These aren't Martells, are they? I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the dead ones. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clyde, tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will ya? <sighs> Not so much as a thank you. Well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh, and uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't ya? That was the last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along it. I was say, is there an easier way back? Uh, regards, no, this is probably the quickest. Yeah, that's really nice. She, uh, she was very brave. And she ultimately may have changed some lives doing what she it's did. I love this game so much! <laughs> like, these little moments, they really mean a lot. It's a big deal. It really is a big deal. You may not seem it, but it, it just is. The curse breakers send their thanks. And their compliments. They were clearly very fond of Martel. They remembered her. After all these years. I suppose she was very kind. Even to a tongue-tied lummox like me. You were one of the good ones, Martel. Why did you have to die? She put everything into her work. She wasn't going to rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy. And now we do. When she died, I named a sapling after her. And now it's a full-grown tree. Martel lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her, had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. I, oh, I didn't do anything really, but thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. By the way, Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. They like your fruit, Martel. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? Get you right in the fields. <laughs> it's amazing. 
Oh, cool, the displays in the chambers. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's so good. Going back to, like, the whole Ambrosia um, thing. If you didn't do that first quest, I presume you could never ride a Chocobo. Which is insane to me. <laughs> like, like, the fact that that's a thing is wild. Now, I want to quickly check something. Has this updated with an extra thing? No. I wondered if that was going to be... Like, the hunts that we had done that were... Like a, like a replay of them. Maybe it still is. I technically haven't done one yet. So, we'll see. Doesn't sound like anywhere is safe. How are you doing? Anything catch your eye? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, these are back. Okay, that's good. That's right. Oh, Clive. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. The Patron's Whisper? Does that mean someone else is taking care of our friends' donations? Oh, no, that's still me. It's just Karen has her toll, Blackthorn has his hammer. I thought a new name might liven things up. I still catalogue every item that arrives, in addition to setting aside those tokens of appreciation the sender has specified are to be presented to you personally. Would you like to see if we have any? Ooh, interesting. Business is busy. On top of my regular duties here at the Whisper, Otto has piled countless other tasks from transcribing and sorting s uh, Stola's reports to pen needful massives. Not that I'm complaining, mind. I enjoy writing. I have ever since I learned my letters from Jara back in the old hideaway. I won't claim to have been his best student, though. That honour goes to Shirley. Still. Still, I like to think Jara would be proud of me, too. Were he with us today? Yeah, fair enough. Your benefactors are a generous lot. Oh, so completing side quests will earn Clive renown, inspiring nameless benefactors from across the twins to donate money or items to Clive's cause. Visit Desiree at the Patron's Whisper in the Hideaway's Mess to view current renown level and accept any donations available. Okay, so I, because I'm at this stage, I can do. Oh, okay. I can think Dimitri, right? I can think. Right, okay. Berserker ring. Okay, so I guess what I should do is I should see. I'm gonna get that because that's got 400 ability points. That's way better. You earned this. Does my renown go down? It does not. Okay, so it's not using up my renown. Okay. Hasn't been delivered yet. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's very exciting. Thank you. All right, Nectar. Hey, hey, Wakubo, I've been looking all over for you. Alright, what have we got? Nectar. Yeah, here we go. Forward. It's where the curse breakers post sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Those that might pose a threat to our operations if they were left to roam free. Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted, doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. Was... That what you wanted to know? <laughs> yeah, you need me to slay them all. Good. It's what I like to see. Well, leaving your mightiness aside for the moment, the people of Valestia are going through a lot already. What with the blight and the war. The last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else. So if the curse breakers are too busy to help, then perhaps I can. Or at least I can try. Excellent, okay. Uh... I guess I'll ask about your adventures. Did I tell you about the time I visited the Great Continent? I don't think so. Of course I didn't, because I've never been! <laughs> you are amazing. 
Look at these wings. They look like they sort of uh, can, can, might carry a moogle across countless leagues of open sea. They can be next to the bold, not next to the stupid Koopo. <laughs> Amazing. It's precisely what you see before you, Koopo. The curse breakers note down the details of any particularly dangerous monsters they hear about or encounter in the course of their duties, Koopo. And post the billets here, Koopo, so that any stout soul who wishes to do the realm of service might set out to slaughter an ungodly horror or two, which is where you come in, Koopo! As for me, I have the most important duty of all, painting a big red cross over each and every one you cut down, Koopo, so that everyone can sleep at night knowing that the realm is a safer place. The curse breakers don't just tack up any old rumours to this board, you know. They take great pains to verify every little detail, Koopo. So don't you go letting all their hard work go to waste, Koopo. Don't you let me- I mean them down! Right, so you put them on there, noted. Alright. So, one of them I've done. Reports of fiends terrorizing the countryside are posted as a hunt board in the hopes of fearless uh, heroes such as Clive will take it upon themselves to hunt down and slay the notorious marks. Uh, that's the first one. A member of the Blood Axis stationed to Martha's Rest reported that it has been set upon the marshes. Yes, yeah, so we've done that. Um, cool. So there are two others. The Angel of Death! Uh, a trader coming by the way of Kaer Novant met with a troop of curse breakers travelling uh, in the opposite direction and warned them of a wicked winged harpy on the road ahead, his eyes wild and flickering. Though the curse breakers saw nothing untoward on their own journey through their pass. Uh, the sound of cackling laughter from the trees ensured that they kept up a brisk pace. Um, you can see the mark rank there, and you're slightly more powerful. You're rank B, Belfagor. Reports have been received of a wild avis of striking size, making its nest atop the hill adjacent to East Pool. Uh, though all efforts are being made not to rouse the beast's ire, it is surely but a matter of time before it needs to feed. I hereby petition any brave volunteers to march to the northern border. But we might cut the fiend down before it makes uh, trenches of nearby villages. Interesting. So it's actually... Right. So you don't, like, accept it. They're just there. You just go there. That's interesting. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll make a note of that. Well, we can't do any right now because the next quest is forcing us to go to, um, you know, plot progression. But that is absolutely fascinating. Um... And how many assist you today what have you got i guess more we'll just stay at the round stuff may I help you today uh this is Here updated um i guess because of all of this um Thus ends today's but yeah lesson. no i just i love this game there's so much that is just unlocked like this area has so much going on and the thing is i don't know how far we are in this game i don't think very far at all like, like a third of the way, maybe? The game's just opened up in such a big way, and it's really cool. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens next. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Next time, we progress the plot, and then afterwards we'll maybe do some uh, some hunts. And hopefully it goes alright. We shall see. But uh, I really love that we can get like items for doing quests and... Oh, it all feels phenomenal. It feels so satisfying. The side quests, whilst boring at the beginning, now feel so worth it. And oh my god, I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh. This, ah, this game. This game! <laughs>